Okay, here's a little more guidance on this problem. Uh, not going to take you through to the final answer, but I'll show you some of the stuff. Uh, by the way, it doesn't mention here in the statement of the problem that the distance is in miles. We're making that assumption. So the, dis the, the uh, rate miles per hour assumes that from negative 4, negative 8 to 612 is in miles. <clears throat> okay, so the first thing I said was let's determine the points of intersection of the y and y equals 2x with the ellipse. So here I have substituted 2x for y in the equation of the ellipse. And now I want to solve this equation for x so I can find these two points of intersection right here. So if I multiply every term in this equation by 16, uh, the first term will become x squared. Here, if I square the 2x, I get 4x squared. The 4s cancel out. 16 times x squared is 16x squared. And 1 times 16 is 16. So this is what I get. x equals the square root of 16 over the square root of 17. Or plus or minus 4 over the square root of 17. So this value right here, the plus value, is the x coordinate of this point. And since y is twice x, the corresponding y values are just double that. So the coordinates of this point are 4 over the square root of 17. And the y coordinate is 8 over the square root of 17. And these are just the opposite of those, negative 4 over the And you could rationalize these if you wanted to which I think I showed uh, on the Desmos graph is 4 radical 17 over 17. <clears throat> but now the next thing is says find the distance from negative 4, negative 8 to this point right here. Well, for that, we have to use the distance formula. And there is what it looks like if you use the distance formula. x of 2 minus x of 1, the quantity squared, plus y sub 1, y sub 2 minus y sub 1, the quantity squared. And uh, it's not clear whether you're allowed to do this on a calculator or you have to do it totally by hand. But here I give you an idea of how to evaluate this first binomial squared. You could get, uh, of course, minus a minus is a plus. Get a common denominator. So multiply top and bottom of that first term by the square root of 17. And so that gives us negative 4 radical 17 plus 4 over the common denominator. That thing squared. Well, to square a binomial, I square the first term. That's 16 times 17 minus I double the product of the two terms. So the product of the two terms is negative 16 radical 17. Doubled is negative 32 radical 17. And plus square the second term. I square the radical 17, I get 17. So that is the value of this first term. And I could do it similarly for this one right here, which is what I've done over here, just to give you an idea of how to evaluate this. And finally, the square root of a plus b, that is the distance from negative 4, negative 8 to that first point of intersection with the uh, asteroid field. And if I want to get the time spent traveling from that point to the, to the asteroid field, I would divide distance which is this number right here, 6.77, divided by the rate. And the rate for that part of the trip is 0.53 miles per hour. So there's the time for the first part of the trip. Uh, go back to board one. The second part of the trip, you can do the same thing. For We have to get this distance, which would be the distance formula applied against these two points which will be using these coordinates right here. Uh, divide that distance, whatever you get by 
0.39 to get the time T2. And then do the same thing from here to here to get time 3. Add time 1, time 2, time 3. And you've got the total time to make the trip. Okay. Uh, hopefully that's enough of a clue on what's happening for you to finish the problem on your own. There you go. Hope that helps. Thank you.